Hi guys, this is Felicia from SethLui.com. Um, we are today here at Pandan Loop, visiting this little cafe called Wang Kui at a time. And they are said to be located in a very secretive place right here. And so we're going to check it out right now. Let's go! So apparently there's no signboard when you come. Can you see? Just be like that. Yep, let's go. Oh, what's this thing here? See? Can you see? Yeah. Let's go in together. So as you can see, this is like a secret hideout right here at um, Pandan Loop. We are actually inside the building of Lim Chi Guan, the Bakwa place. So um, there is no signboard at all. You won't know, like coming in, you won't know that this place is one grade at a time. It used to be a hawker at Jalan Berthe and in 2017 they closed and recently, beginning of this year, they opened and now they are located at Pandan Loop. So the difference between this place and a hawker centre is, of course you can see, it's, uh, there is a very high ceiling, so it's very comfortable, it's very conducive. And um, not only that, there is a mixture of different kind of furnitures right here. So as you can see at the back of me, there are vintage furniture. So apparently some of these are family heirlooms that the um, owners Nick and Karen got from their uh, families and parents or hand downs. And if you look there right there, there is actually a table that is from a coffee shop that they used to frequent when they were back at Jalan Berthe. So yeah. It's a place that is very conducive and a nice place to enjoy a plate of Sun Kueh. So right here at one Kueh at a time, there's currently 8 Sun Kueh in their menu and we have 6 in front of us. So let's take a look what do we have. We have the original which is the crowd favourite. We have the beetroot, of course Gu Tai Kueh. And then um, we also have their new and more unique Sun Kueh which are the heavy ham and the bakwa and their latest addition which is the smoked chicken. So let's dig in. So all their sun kueh, they are all freshly steamed upon order. So when you get yours, it will be piping hot and ready to be eaten. Okay, so right in front of me, I have the Sanya's Heavy Ham Sun Kueh. So down here right at the counter, they do sell their Sanya's Heavy Ham in, on, in tubs for $20. So if you really like the Heavy Ham on this Sun Kueh, you can go and get yours at the counter as well. So let's take a bite and see how it tastes like. Okay. So, as you can see, right, the skin is really translucent and it's really chewy. It has a very nice texture and looking into it itself, it is really packed with heavy yam. In fact, I couldn't really taste the radish. There's more of a very strong stream flavour from the heavy yam and the heat from the heavy yam itself is not that overpowering. So you do have that very strimpy kind of mouthfeel that is like throughout my mouth right now. It's really interesting. But I would say it's not really typical of a normal Sun Kueh that you eat because it's like overpoweringly too much, a bit too much heavy here, I feel. So the next one we are going to try, it's the new addition to their menu, which is the smoked chicken Sun Kueh. So here we have it. It's also a white base colored Sun Kueh. So how you differentiate this, right, is it's a smiley shape, you see? And they have certain ones which are the S shape, like the bakwa ones. So that's how you differentiate. They kind of shape their sunku a bit differently. So for this one, you can unlike the heavy hair one, right? There's more of it's cleaner in flavor, and you can really taste the chicken strats inside. You can take a look. So there's smoked chicken inside. So there's a little bit of a smokiness to the whole sunku itself. And for this um, Sun Kueh, the radish actually stands out more. The flavours of the radish comes out more as compared to the heavy ham one. So I really like this one. And there's an added protein. I like my meat. The next one is the bakwa one. So as I said just now, it's the S shape, which is the bakwa one. So according to their um, owners, Karen, what she mentioned was bakwa used to be the favourite among foreigners as well as kids. And I guess we can imagine why, right? Because bakwa is sweet. So let's check it out. So I just picked it up and it's like broken already. So you can imagine how thin the skin is. Okay, before I make a mess. Mm. 
Oh. This is like, sorry, filled with bakwa. You can see it's coming out already. Mm. So apparently, the bakwa, this bakwa soon kueh, breaks like more easily than the rest. Yes, it's because the, thin, the skin at the bottom is really, really thin and they really have a lot of bakwa filling inside. So this is definitely a favourite among kids because it is sweet, like really sweet. As in not the kind of like candy sweet kind of filling, but if you like your bakwa on Chinese New Year, you'll definitely love this. Um, there isn't much of a radish taste. I'm not sure whether they put in radish or they put in beetroot, but the bakwa really stands and you can see there are little bits of bakwa inside. So it's a little bit oily at your mouth, but yet it's very comfortable. Like it has a nice oily texture that coats your lips. Then it's like, Ooh. oh yeah. The bakwa is from Lim Chi Guan. So just now I said, right, we are in Lim Chi Guan building. So it's not because of that that they use Lim Chi Guan's bakwa in their sun kue. But I mean, who don't like Lim Chi Guan? So they did a taste test and apparently um, the Lim Chi Guan bakwa flavors suit their sun kue the most and it's the most tasty. So they use Lim Chi Guan's bakwa into their sun kue as well. So after finishing six squares by myself, so Solomon, our video producer, didn't have any because I like gobbled everything. Anyway, that aside, I feel that this place, one square at a time, is a very nice place for you to come if you want to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city because Pandan Loop is really very ulu. We took like a bus in here and it made a whole loop into this place. So yeah. If you have a car, definitely it's a very convenient place. You can just drive here. Um, the aquas are actually rather small, so it's on the smaller side, and it is like a two bite thing, and they cost from one sixty to two fifty. So it might be a little bit on the pricey side, but trust me, their flavors packed a punch. And my favorite was the bakwa. So if you come here, don't forget to try the bakwa. See you guys in the next video. Bye. if you want to you know, get out of the hustle and bustle of the city life in Singapore because this is at Ulu Pandan and Ulu Pandan, oh my god I said Ulu Pandan this is at Pandan Loop and Pandan Loop is very Ulu because <laughs> I, I, I said Ulu Pandan, you know this I said Ulu Pandan